All right, listen. I've made two videos already because it's only 15 minutes about like kind of more in depth about like one through 15. Uh, but then I was like, it's taking too long. So I just compiled like the last like 16 picks. So you're just going to look at the list of my picks. Now there's a lot of time has gone into it. Um, I was going to see what happens. Real quick, I do want to say, I mean, y'all can look at it, whatever. This is the mock. I do want to say that there's no perfect pick. Every there's no perfect prospect. Every prospect has faults. Every prospect has problems. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, it doesn't matter. Maybe there's a best prospect, but he doesn't try to have the NBA career that he he wants to have that we should see. And there's also a couple of trades and stuff that I had in mind, but I couldn't really put him into this. So number one, uh, Jabari Smith goes to uh, Orlando Magic. Good fit. You know, Wendell. I wish I could show you the um. Yeah, I wish I could show you the rosters again. Uh, but yeah, because they showed me the roster. That's why I did this. But this is a good pick. Uh, number two, Chet goes to OKC. Pretty simple. Josh Giddy, SGA going to be down there doing anything. A really good defensive prospect. Like, worst case scenario, I think Chet is like, who did I say earlier? I don't know, but like a Rudy Gobert. Somebody worse than Rudy Gobert, I said. But it's, he's a good prospect. He's out there on the wing doing his thing. Oh, Brooke Lopez. That's what it is. I think like floor is Brooke Lopez for Chet. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, he's a really solid NBA starter, right? Third, my favorite project prospect Paulo Bancaro. Uh if he's really six ten, it's gonna be a problem. I mean offensively he just does he does what he does. Great score. He can pass the ball. He didn't have that many assists but I promise you he can pass the ball. And he just traded away Christian Wood. So I mean he's a big dude too. I don't know how great I think he'll be a good perimeter perimeter defender. I don't know how great he'll be in the post though. I think he'll be pretty solid. He's a strong guy. And they, like I said, if he's really six ten, this dude's a beast. Uh number four, you can um I, a lot of prospects have basically been coming out and saying that they don't want to play for the Kings. So I that's why I think, like, this is fried. So I did have, a, like, a little mock trade. I had the Kings basically trading the fourth pick to the Knicks. The Knicks move up from 11. Uh, so the Knicks would trade. It was Cam Reddish or Obi Toppin and the 11th pick for this fourth pick. Um, and then because the Kings suck, they're going to do sucky things, and they're going to draft Keegan Murray, who I'm not sold on. He's kind of stiff. He's uh, he's a good scorer, but like all of his points come from transition, low block stuff. I mean, I'm not really sold on him as a as an elite scorer. And if that's your best trait, if I'm if you're not sold on your best trait, then I don't know. What I could say, and I think in the Kings, they 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 do King things, so they're gonna they're gonna draft Keegan Murray. Two players that I'm gonna tell you I'm not high on is Keegan Murray and Jaden Ivey. That was a big two. Five Pistons take Shaden Sharp. Uh, I, people tell you he could be the best guard in this class. I think he probably is the best guard in this class. We just haven't seen him play. I think there's no difference from him. He didn't play in college, but it's no different from niggas coming straight out of high school to the NBA. Uh, and so with the Pacers, Pacer, so with uh, you pair Shaden and Cade, I think that is a deadly backcourt. You know what I'm saying? You just traded away Grant. I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna move Grant. They already moved Grant. But I think they're gonna. I think they move Grant in order to make room for either Miles Bridges or sign and trade with DeAndre Aiden. But I was saying earlier, early, if they do sign and trade for Aiden and the Suns. I the fifth pick is not gonna be theirs anymore, obviously. And if the Suns were here to make this pick, I think the Suns would probably go someone. You want someone to win now? Um, I don't think the Suns will take either. It's definitely not gonna be a guard. It, it'd probably have to be. It'd probably have to be somebody like Jalen Duran or um, who's another big? that's pretty big, like a Mark Williams. You know, I think I'm. I don't even think they would get a big. Now I'm sitting here look at this. They're probably they'd probably just take Dyson. That's what I think. Or Mathurin. I think they take Mathurin. Whatever. But the Suns, they, the Suns could move up here. Uh, six, Jay Ivey, because they don't take Shane Sharp, obviously, to take Jay Ivey. Um, so, I mean, pretty simple. Backcourt there. Very athletic, long with Halliburton and, and Ivey. And throw Hall – who's on Brogdon? Throw him at three. It'll be all right. Uh, next, you have the Blazers. I think the Blazers are going to try this pick. I would, I would bet money that the Blazers do not pick at seven. Uh, it's going to be somebody's pick. I think it's going to be okay season. If okay, the thing is, what I think is this right here is the cutoff, Shaden Sharp. I think we want Shaden Sharp or Ivy. I think if – I think those are the only people we'd be fine with trading up for. If Shaden Sharp or Ivy falls to seven, we will trade up at that point. But, like, if he goes five, six, we'll leave this. But Portland, you get Durant. You get a nice athletic four. You already have your backcourt with Damon Simon. You just traded for Grant, which I don't – they're not making that many moves, bro. I don't know. The Trailblazers are not that – good like they're not better than a lot of teams in the west even with grant i mean and i think i don't know what other moves you can make they're talking about getting og and an ob I, even if you get og how good is your team really gonna be like i mean six seven in the west six is pushing it to be honest but seventh in the west 
these aren't moves that are going to push the team forward, bro. And that's what I hate about the NBA is you can have so many good pl- like Good players don't matter. You have to have great players. You have to have elite players. Take it uh, for the freaking uh, Hornets. The Hornets have a lot of good players that would start on different NBA teams. But they all of them together are mid. You have to have an elite player and you have to right. It's just it's tough. Like in the NFL, you can have a whole bunch of team full of good players and you'll win. But you need you need elite players. So Duran goes seven, athletic big. Uh, I think. I mean, it, these three are in a these three bigs are in a class of their own. Point blank, period. Jalen Duran is the next big after that. So that should tell you a lot, right? Like this dude is still really freaking good, and I, he's played against Memphis. Played against. Chets, I'm not for sure. I'm pretty sure he played against most of these bigs, and he, he's a really good defensive guy. Uh, next nine, Dyson Daniels to the Spurs. I thought the bigs were really good in this class with the guards. I think the guards might be better, but I think it's just so many of these elite guards to the point it's not that many bigs that makes the bigs more valuable. These guards are really good. Dyson Daniels can get his own shot. Really good playmaker and great defender. Probably the best defensive defensive guard in this class. So of course Popovich is going to pick him. Also, if Dejan to me, to me. The Spurs try to move DeJounte Murray for Ja Collins. You want to know what that means? You want to know what that means? That means that if they do move it, get Collins, I think that means they're planning on drafting a guard. And I think the best guard at this spot is Dyson Daniels. Maybe Shaden's, maybe Shaden's falls right there, but Dyson Daniels to me is the guy. If I could draft anybody, I'd want I'd want Dyson. And he's been playing against pro level comp, you know, in the G League. So I think I think this dude's gonna be really good. I think this is a I think this is a steal. I don't think it's a best steal, but it's a steal. Uh 10. Ben McMathern goes to the Wizards. The Wizards have so many problems. Like after you get past like nine, you get the kind of teams that's like, what do you want to? You have to have a direction to take that team in. Uh, so Ben McMath has that dog in him. He's a really good scorer, great athlete. He has that um, bro. It's like Anthony Edwards. Like that's the best player cop I can give. Um, it's like Anthony Edwards, not as great of a scorer. Um, and then the defensive side, it's like, yo, does he want to play defense? If he wants to. He's going to be a great defender. So, Ben McMathern goes to the Wizards in here in D.C. I'll definitely come and watch him. He's a really good player. I like him. You get that dog in him, bro. Like, I'm telling you, bro. Like, he, like that Colin Sexton dog in him. Like, that's why I think he's going to be pretty good. Uh, and the Wizards, I mean, he probably not going to make that much noise in D.C. because the Wizards. Uh, number 11. So, like I said, they trade the pick. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Ty Ty Washington to me sucks. I think Ty Ty Washington is the worst guard in this class. Not the worst, but he sucks. Like, I would take Dalen Terry over Ty Ty. I'd take Kenny Chandler. I don't think I drafted Chandler uh, in this. I did draft Chandler. But I would take him over Ty Ty. But this is what I think is going to happen. Not necessarily what I want to happen, okay? But I think he sucks. I mean, he's a – he's a he played – I don't understand how you can get drafted lottery as a guard if you didn't even play point guard. This dude's best position is point guard. He played the two in college over severe Wheeler. And Wheeler wasn't even that good. To me, it tells me all I need to know. Uh, number 12, like I said, I think OKC is going to move up. Also, 11, if this pick does stay the Kings, or if they do trade and the Kings get this pick, um, I don't think they would go guard here. They'd probably go somebody like Eason, you know what I'm saying, or uh, Branham, but maybe even Houston. But they would pivot. I think they'd pivot from a guard. Um, they already, they drafted like six guards. I mean, holy, they don't need that many more. But, yeah, uh, 12, I think we trade from this pick 100%. I, don't, I think we move up. I don't. I think that if... I think we want to get a guard. Like, it's pretty clear we want to get a guard. Um, I mean, I really think, I mean, a guy like Dyson Daniels or Bending Mathen can fall right here. You feel me? Like, it's possible to fall to 12. But if not, I think we're fine with getting Malik Branham, a nice lanky guy, can score. Pause on that. Uh, he's, he's really raw, though. I'll say that much. He's raw. I didn't see too. Like, he's raw. You know what I mean? Uh, he can improve the shooting. I think we just need a forward. We're rocking Giddy, SGA, Dort, Baisley. I mean, I think we just need a, a lanky uh, forward, but yeah. Uh, 13, I think it's like the most perfect pick. Mark Williams goes to Charlotte. They, the Hornets need a center, and I mean, Miles Bridges might be out the way out. And a nice little lob threat from Melo, you know what I'm saying? Uh, to another another great, like, bro, I think if you are picking from like here to like 19, bro, you are in such a gold mine. It's so, so many good players. Uh, Tar- Tari Easton, really good defender, long defender. I don't know, is he like 6'9 or something like that? It, he's not the best scorer. But he's gonna with the Cleveland's um defense. I already have one to be defense with Mobley, Allen, uh Okoro, Sexton can play defense. You add in Tari Easton, I think he's gonna be a really good defender. And I think it's gonna push Cleveland up there. Like honestly, I think it's like like that. Um Johnny Davis, I think, goes to Charlotte. You need another you want another score. Let me stop going down. Uh you want another score. 
I think he's one of the best scorers. Really good, another good defender. He can create his own shot. He played for Wisconsin, who didn't have that many shooters. So, I mean, I can get his own shot. I think that's really, really big. Um, who did I not? Oh, yeah, for some reason, Jeremy Schoen wasn't in this, like, pool of players I could pick. I have no idea why. Jeremy Schoen would have went somewhere. I'm not high on him either, though. I'm not going to lie. Um, who, bro? I'm missing somebody, bro. When I said Johnny Davis, I don't know. Jalen Williams. I have him. Did I draft Jalen? Oh, I, wait. Did I miss this pick? I missed this pick, number eight with the Pelicans. The Jalen Williams from Santa Clara. That's my steal of the draft. Like, Dyson Dales, Jalen Williams are my two steals of the draft. If you get those players, no matter what, you are going to steal because they should be top five. That's what I, That's how good I think they are. Jalen Williams is a beast. He's a really good shooter. He has an NBA body. And he's, he's the, the, the vision is that he's played comp. He's played comp. But it's not that much heard of because he plays, you know, the Gonzaga Conference and the, I think it's, it's not Big West, West Coast Conference. Jalen Williams, Dyson Daniels. Remember, though, those are my two. Like, if I could invest stock into players, those two would be it. We're at the top of this now. Um, I'll probably split this up in two. 